next video so in today's video i will show you how to play audio and video files uh, in flutter uh, without any third party dependency uh, with the help of native code uh, so first of all i have created a default uh, flutter project um, and inside uh, that inside main.dart what i have done is that uh, i have created this widget called my home page and i am using scaffold uh, surrounded by safe area and i am using size box and i am calculating the width and height over here of our uh, device and i am passing it to my player view so my player view is like a custom view which we have to create so he here you can see i have created the file for it as well first of all you have to define this uh, constant which would be referred on both that side as well as on the native side so this constant is very important next i have created a stateful widget and I have created a map property as well. So we will define some URL uh, from uh, a dart side. Here it could be MP3 or MP4 file, any it could be anything. Like uh, this uh, widget which we will create on the native side will work for both MP3 and MP4 files. We don't have to write a different code for it. So for Android we will use something called EXO player and for iOS we will use uh, AV, uh, AV player view controller something like that so this is the code which i have copied it from the documentation so this is like necessary code which you have to write whenever you are referring a native component on android and ios side uh, the the reason uh, like suppose you have multiple uh, native views uh, the uh, differentiating factor between multiple views is this view type so which we have defined over here okay so i have defined this next we will go to our android code go to app src main go to android manifest.xml and first add this internet permission because we want to load mp3 mp4 files from a url next we can go to i don't think for build.gradle yeah you for build.gradle you have to write uh, add these two dependencies so uh, we don't need to add the exo player dependency directly we can use something called media3 library uh, it is still in rc release candidate i think it should be stable soon so just check whenever you are watching this video whether the 1.0.0 version is already available or not i think it should be available in the next few months uh, i don't think there would be any breaking changes as such and this is the recommended library by google to play audio and video in new android projects because this works with jetpack compose with older xml uh, as well so use this and don't directly use the exo player library suppose you want to do heavy customization for your video which is not possible via media3 library then you can directly use exo player otherwise it's better to use uh, media3 library so add this to in your dependency next go to kotlin inside main.activity you have to write this bit of code and here make sure whatever you have defined on the dart side uh, you refer it over here as well so first we will create the my player view factory class so here you can see my player view factory and inside that again i have copy pasted this code from documentation uh, like this factory class is necessary whenever you want to create uh, a custom native component and inside that we are creating an object of our my player view and inside my player view dot kt here you can see that uh, again this is boilerplate code we are first creating a linear layout and then here i have just copy pasted this code from the official android documentation here we are re returning the linear layout we are making sure the linear layout occupies match uh, like occupies the whole width and height so that's why it is match parent then we are defining creating the player view then we are setting the layout params for player view as well and then we are adding the player view to our linear layout then we are getting the url which we are defined in the dart side on the to the native side so this is how you get the url and then calling the setup player here we are calling the uh, setup player to uh, you know which we will which will uh, play like this is the exo player object which we will uh, which will automatically play the audio or video for us and if you want you can write this bit of code like this will hide the status bar and the navigation bar like the back buttons and all which you see so uh, our video will occupy the whole width and height and here this is a release player which are which is called whenever 
uh, we are uh, disposing this uh, UI uh, like whenever this UI component is no longer visible on the screen so we don't want to keep uh, this thing in our memory otherwise your app will become slow so once uh, that is done so this I think this is for uh, Android am I missing something uh, no I don't think so so this uh, this thing is capable of playing both uh, audio as well as video so you don't have to write two different components next for iOS go to runner go to app delegate dot so so first uh, you have to write this bit of code again uh, this can be anything but make sure whatever you write over here uh, same thing you have written over here inside this uh, diamond bracket and here this should be the same thing whatever you have defined on the dart side otherwise it won't be able to find your component next you have to create this factory class which we have defined over here so again same like android i have just copy pasted this from the documentation and here you can see we are actually calling our my player view native way so if you go inside this code here we are importing av kit and av foundation and i am first creating an av player controller sorry i should have de uh, deleted this code like we don't require this code okay so here uh, first we i'm getting the url from our dart side uh, if the url is present then only i'm creating a native view and here you can see this the code is as simple as this like four lines of code and this is able to play both audio and video for android so yeah i guess that should be it for ios and android just be careful whenever you are passing a url it should be https and not http if it is http then you have to add some uh, in, inside your info.pages that transport security thing as well as for android you have to clear the traffic in android manifest something so you can just google search for it if uh, your url is http and not https so yeah uh, so i will just show you how it looks so this is for uh, this is for android audio here you can see i have the play controls as well like i will just i have the seek bar at the bottom i have the play pause button forward next button as well and i will show you for video for on android as well this is a dog in quick time player i guess okay here you can see i can play pause i can see move the seek bar as well if i want to um like one bug which i have noticed is that uh, if you are trying to run this on the emulator for android both for audio and video uh, the uh, play pause button or the moving of the progress bar or seek bar whatever you call it might not work it is better to try on a real device on the real device it does work uh, and uh, even better if you could try it in the release mode of your apk otherwise you might feel that the app is slow because audio video does uh, take a lot of memory so it is better to try in the release mode just to check whether you are happy with the performance or not and same for ios as well so here you can see like i am able to play pause as well not sure if you guys can hear the audio or not and same for video as well Yeah, my internet connection was flaky while playing this video but it does work yeah here you can see i'm yeah here you can see the i'm able to play the video so yeah uh, i guess that should be it i guess am i missing anything i don't think so so yeah uh, thank you for watching bye